Hey everyone, it's Neon Polygons, and today I'm doing a different kind of video than I normally do. Uh, I'm actually going to be talking about clothes, which is, you know, very different from my channel, which is usually about video games and New York City living. So what you see here are two pairs of jackets, and they're basically the same jacket model. But what makes this jacket unique is that it's actually one of the most coveted leather jackets from any leather jacket. I guess, collector per se. But nobody can get them. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. This is the Kid Cudi Champs by Surface to Air limited, to limited Edition Bomber Jacket, which was released in the fall of 2011, um, primarily through online and at their Surface to Air locations in New York, Paris, and I believe Tokyo at the time or Brazil um, and so there's a reason why I'm showing two jackets and I'll get into that very briefly but this jacket is coveted for a number of reasons one it was highly marketed by the artist Kid Cudi himself because he had involvement in the design of this jacket the other reason being is because it was only a you know limited run of these jackets uh, ever produced and the number of sizes available were very small quantities so this jacket i actually purchased from the new york boutique uh, surface to air in november 2011 i'll never forget when i got it and when this came out it retailed at the price of uh one thousand two hundred dollars so it was quite a costly jacket at the time now, uh, this jacket was very short-lived, uh, you know, again, it was only kind of a two-print run um, or a two-production run. And not long after this jacket came out, the company Surface to Air, which is a Parisian brand, actually folded. Uh, so, you know, trying to find old stock or trying to just find this off the secondhand market, it's not only very difficult uh, because you know, stocks no longer exist, but even trying to purchase it secondhand is actually quite difficult because these jackets weren't really purchased by people. Um, I know when I got mine, I, you know, the store person actually told me I was one of the few people that actually buys a jacket. Most of these jackets were actually just given to a select number of celebrities or I guess influencers per se. Um, Oddly enough, one of them was Conan O'Brien, so uh, you can actually find a video of it, of him wearing it, in the interview that he did with Kid Cudi himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What'd you get me? I did these cool leather jackets. Where is it? Is it hot? Andy, what'd you get? I don't know. What'd you get? Oh, here it goes. Look at this. This is one of the leather jackets I designed with this brand called Surface to Air, and, um... That is so me! I know you're in the leather, so... <laughs> yeah. Let's check this out. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see what this looks like. Yes! Yeah, look at that. that. That's a good look for me. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> suddenly, this is suddenly this is like a German talk show we're doing. <laughs> das ist Kid Cudi. Yeah. <laughs> look at this. This is incredible. I like yeah. this look. I'm gonna start dressing like this on the show. Oh, you should. I want to wear this jacket. This is this is fine. Thank nice. you very much. No problem. Now, enough about me. Let's talk about you. <laughs> what other gifts did you bring for me? So the reason I'm showing this, Jack, is because for people who, tr who are trying to obtain this and are trying to, actually at this point, trying to obtain it secondhand, um, there are some slight differences between the two print or two production runs that came out. The most notable is the zippers. So uh, what you see here is this is the first print run and this is the jacket I actually purchased. And this is a second jacket I actually obtained uh, at a much cheaper price at a sample sale. And uh, this is a second print uh, run jacket. Now the, the main difference here again is, uh, or to start off with is the actual zipper themselves. On the first print run, uh, the zippers were all uh, in black. So see there the two zippers in the front and then there is some kind of um, uh, extension zippers here in the back. They were all in black. Now with the second print run, uh, for whatever reason, they decided to go with a dark and gold. And so depending on your preference, uh, that may suit you a little bit better because, you know, they zippers stand out. And as you'll see here, it's also gold on the side. Um, the other key difference is the branding of the zippers. So I'll get a little bit closer here. 
if you can kind of get the zoom, you can kind of notice that uh, the zippers themselves are branded surface to air. Whereas on the new print run, or the second print run, the zippers are a YKK um, outsourced zipper. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the YKK, but you know, again, from a branding standpoint, uh, it may be preferable to have the surface to air branding on your zippers. I don't think anyone would notice. And the YKK branding is, is very common. Actually, you'll see a lot of Louis Vuitton um, bags or you know clothes that actually use YKK. Um, and uh, they're a very common zipper maker uh, based in Japan. Another big difference uh, on these jackets are actually in the tags. So here in the original print run, they won't have the size or where it's made from located underneath uh, its um, back tag. Uh, but in the below the left chest pocket, you'll notice that it does say surface tear and it does have a size tag underneath it. So that's in the original uh, print of the jacket. Now in the newer production runs, uh, you'll notice that they do say uh, the size and they were made in India under the back tags. And underneath uh, the front chest pocket, there is no tag for surface to air and the size. Now, can you go wrong with either version of these jackets? Definitely not. Um, both of these jackets are or any version of this jacket is really cool to have. And, you know, I always say that getting a leather jacket is an investment. So regardless of the price that you have to pay for it, in my opinion, it's worth it. And, you know, just always consider that this jacket, you know, uh, any version that you get or any leather jacket that you get, you'll be wearing it for years to come if you treat it properly and you take care of it uh, in the right way. So, <sighs> I'm very proud to have both of these jackets. Again, the reason I have two is because I originally purchased this jacket at a very high cost. And because I was always so nervous of like walking around and it getting damaged, uh, I went by the sample sale and was able to get another version of the jacket about at a cheaper price. And I'm, I'm glad I did because I don't walk around with any kind of fear that if anything happens to this, this jacket, I'll never be able to replace it again because I do have another version of it. Um, now, I will say, though, uh, this jacket is somewhat an aggressive look. And so, you know, there does kind of have to be a certain style that you have to wear when you wear this type of jacket. You can't just be w walking around with this. Uh, and kind of pulling off like I'm a badass look. Um, you know, there is a little bit of sophistication that you do have to, you know, pull off when wearing this type of leather jacket, which is considered kind of a biker slash bomber hybrid jacket. Anyways, um, what do you guys think about this jacket? Is this something that you guys would wear? Uh, is this something that you are looking for? I just made this video because I noticed there wasn't a lot of information, surprisingly, on a jacket that was so coveted 10 years ago when this first came out it was kind of all the rage amongst like fashion enthusiasts in the specifically in the new york area who really wanted kind of like that you know nerd hip-hop look at the time so let me know your thoughts on this jacket or if you have any questions heck if you even heard of this jacket in the first place uh, this is Neon Polygons. Thanks again for watching and catch you all again soon.